given what we have, it's, very, it's going to be very difficult because we are seeing that ISIS is attacking in several places, in Iraq and Syria and elsewhere, but let me take Iraq and Syria as examples. And uh, they are uh, still holding some areas, and Mosul is still in their hands, and parts of Ambar is in their hands. And those, the, the fight there is going to be extremely difficult. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. With the current prevailing uh, support that we have, we need real support, and I'm not talking about foot soldiers. I'm talking about equipments, training special forces, pulling intelligence, and uh, using more efficiently the aerial bombardment. And they need to be involved. They, they have not only a moral responsibility and the political responsibility, but also things will spill over. If things go, go get out of hand here then definitely it will spill over into Europe. It's only a point between us and Europe. You're talking about the international community there. I just wondered if you could tell me which specific countries have a moral responsibility to do something well, like this. Well, America, have a, to start with, have a moral responsibility. And, and likewise Europe and the countries that, that participated in, uh, in the war of 2003 to get uh, Saddam out. You know, since then, the army was dismantled, the capabilities were dismantled in Iraq. And without that help from, say, countries like America, is there a danger that Iraq could become a proxy state of Iran? Of course, of course Iran will step in. Uh, then, of course, this will happen if, if there is no support to Iraq, and uh, this will happen because now Iran is, is getting more and more involved in the, in the war against ISIS. And this would render Iraq uh, quite a significant theater for interferences and for problems and for tensions. That's why we prefer that all allies work together to support the, the Iraqi people and the Iraqi uh, institutions to, to fight ISIS.